All right, what I got here is a steering cylinder off of a JCB telehandler. Uh, I'm not sure, uh, I can't remember exactly what model this was off of, but there's four of these steering cylinders on the machine. But we're going to be doing a reseal on it. If you like this sort of thing, if you would, go down there, click the subscribe, turn the bell on for notifications, and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy this sort of stuff. All right, we're going to take her apart. First thing we're going to do, this has got a uh, gland that turns out. I got a 24 inch, I got a 24 inch adjustable here. Get it set and then just break it loose. All right, I'll continue to turn this out. These channel locks are a little easier to use than that big adjustable, so. Once it's broke loose, I'll use it. Take it until it's hand loose. Turn the gland out. Until it's loose, and then I'll pull. Pull the rod out. And that's it. Take the tube loose and let it hang out over on the side and finish draining. And uh, this is what we're left with. And these JCBs are a little different. So these wear bands, for starters, I'll go ahead and take them off. Primarily this first one because there's a, uh, I don't know how well you can see it, but JCB uses a, uh, this is a threaded pin that goes down into the uh, threads and that's basically a lock a locking pin for the piston. So what I've got for these JCBs are some screws here. They're at M3.50 by 16. And I use these specifically for, I use these specifically for JCBs. Because you have to thread this in like that and then when you do that that allows you to pull that pin out that's very important and then we can take put the rod in the vise go back to our adjustable and break our piston loose just like that. So now we thread our piston loose, take it off, and then we pull our gland off. And that's, that's how you get that apart. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and remove the seals from our gland first. We'll start on the outside and remove the O-ring. That's the only O-ring there is. JCB don't use backups from what I've noticed. Then we'll go on the inside and we'll move, remove the rod seal. Right there. And then we'll, we will remove the uh, wiper here, which there's not much left of it. That thing's crumbling apart. And that's it for the head. We'll put it to the side, go to the piston. We will remove the other wear band. And then the piston seal. This is a two piece. Remove that. These 
these things have seen some heat and everything, so they're pretty brittle. Remove the expander. And then there's an O-ring on the inside that we remove. And basically, basically that's it. I'm gonna get these cleaned up with the uh, wire wheel and a little wire brush. Get that all cleaned up and we'll come back and put the seals in it and finish it up. All right, I got the, uh, the gland and the piston cleaned up and uh, we're gonna reseal here. I, this is the seal kit I got right here, JCB991. 00097. Go ahead and open the bag. All right, I'm going to start with the gland first. Uh, I'm going to start with the clear o ring, it goes on the outside of the gland. Right there. Then the U-cup, this is a loaded U-cup. The bevel faces towards the bottom of the gland. It goes inside in the uh, second groove down there. I get it started in like that and work. I'll work one side in the groove there and I'll just push and continue to work around until it's uh, seated all the way in. And then the wiper. This is the bottom of the wiper. This is the top. So it'll go in in this uh, position. Same as the U-cup, get one side started and push in. That's it for the gland. Onto the piston. Start with the O-ring, goes on the inside here. Right there, just push it in. Then the expander. This has some yellow marks, I guess, on the outside to let you know that it's in the right way, I'm assuming. Basically just walk, or let you know it's not twisted. Basically just walk that expander around. And then the uh, piston seal. Get it started. Walk it around. And for this, I'll just use a straight pick to get under there and holding tension, I'll just walk that around. And that's that. Now one wear band groove has that pinhole. So I'll put the first one wear band on. And I'll leave this one off until we get it tightened. I'm going to go ahead and uh, put these back on. First, we'll start with the gland. Put a little bit of grease inside. And I'll take it, put the gland on the rod. Push it on. Wipe the excess grease. And I'll put it on the O-ring. Now we'll tighten... Put our piston on, tighten it up, take it as far as we can, and we gotta line this hole up so this pin will go back in. So I go back to this. <clears throat> if 
Basically, we just got to keep trying that until our pin will go back in. This is the hardest part. Okay, it appears to be lined up. Okay, it's lined up. I'll remove the screw, put my wear band on. We'll remove the rod, set it back down to the side. Put the tube back in. We'll grease the piston up. And we'll put the piston back in. It's going to be a little tight. We'll hold a little tension and give it a good hit. Okay, we got the gland back in. We'll go ahead and tighten as far as we can by hand. That's about as far as I can go there. Get our big adjustable. And we'll just tighten it on down. Get this snug as we can. And that's it. All right, and that's it. That's uh, how we reseal a JCB telehandler steering cylinder. Uh, I can't remember the model this was off of. This was a 25 millimeter rod by a 50 millimeter bore. I don't know if they're all generally that size or not, but this one was. And uh, if, you, if you got anything out of this, if you would, I'd appreciate it if you'd go down there and leave a comment. And also go down there, click that subscribe. Turn the bell on for notifications. Give the video a thumbs up if you got anything out of it. I'd sure appreciate it. That's it. Until next time. Thanks for watching.